So the second movie I saw today was Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs 2. Um, I guess it would be appropriate to say what my thoughts were on Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs 1. Um, I love Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs 1. Um, I thought it was really, really cute, adorable film. Um, I haven't seen it in a while, but uh, I actually got a chance to watch it um, earlier this week. And I only got to watch a little bit of it, but from what I saw, it still holds up. It's a very funny little flick. I like Bill Hader, I like this Flint Lockwood, and liked, I particularly like Mr. T as the cop, I forget what his name is, and his son, Cal. Uh, the, the son he loves, Cal. Um, I can't do a Mr. T impression very well. Um, but yeah, I'm not a fan of Mr. T, but, uh, he was really good in that movie. I thought stole that movie. Um, I like, I like Steve, the monkey. <laughs> he had a couple of lines that would still make me laugh. Like, just, I just liked that there's, it like, I also like the montage of that, the first one that had, uh, of like all the inventions he made throughout the years, like the TV that just, just walks away. I like, that, that joke pops up in the second movie too, but I like that TV that just walks away. It just kicks the dad and walks away. <laughs> and, and like, just the stupid, like, that, I like, I like the, uh, that montage. That was one of my favorite parts of the whole movie was the montage of like the failed inventions he did. The rat birds and all that. I mean, I, like I said, I love the first one. So, where they're making a sequel? It's like, what the hell? Out of all the kids' movies to make sequels out of, that's that seems like a good one to make one out of. Um, and I, I, the trailers looked really funny. I thought the trailers looked really witty, really cute. Uh, it definitely looked like this movie was going to be pun-heavy and stuff from the trailers. Um, but my favorite, I liked, I liked a lot of the puns in the trailers, particularly the one where they pan, you're like, hey, there's a leak in the boat, and they pan over, and there's, and it, there's a leak, and it goes, eek! It just, it, I don't know why it made me laugh, but I know some people else, that, some other people that thought that was really funny. Uh, I did too. I thought that was really funny. I don't know why. Uh, I could tell it was just going to be a really silly, humorous movie. Uh, and like, yeah, and I, you know what, every, you can do pun, I'm a person that hates puns, and I was like, but if you do it right, and, you know, have a right, right, the right writer, um, that almost sounds really weird to say, <laughs> uh, if you have the right writer, you can make it work, and it looked like this movie could make it work, um, so, but I, like I said, I was looking forward to it, I thought, what the hell? The first one was really good. Why not? And um, now that I've seen it, I can honestly say that this movie was just all right. It wasn't as good as the first one. Not nearly as good as the first one. It was kind of a disappointment, but I still thought it was an all right movie. I mean, I wasn't angry about it or anything like that. I was a little, like I said, I was a little disappointed, um, especially after seeing Don Don and really liking Don Don. Um, I definitely like Don John a lot more than, uh, this movie, but this, this movie I thought was alright. It wasn't nothing, I definitely was not a horrible kids movie or, by any imaginations or anything like that. Um, I just thought this movie wasn't as funny as the original, you know, it didn't have the same good humor as the original, um. I did like the things, the characters that I liked in the first one are pretty damn good in this one, too. I will say that. I'll, that's one thing I will, one positive I will say about this movie. Uh, Steve, uh, the monkey Steve, was really funny. I liked, I liked him a lot. Uh, he had a couple of really good lines, like, particularly <laughs> the, the part at the beginning where, uh, where Flint was planning out, like, this lab he wanted to build of him and Sam Sparks, and they're like, mapping it out in Cran, alright? And Steve just comes over, Steve! And, and they're like, how do you get that brown, how do you get a brown marker? And no, it's just poo, and he just smears poo on the freaking <laughs> freaking, he smears literally, he smears poo on a freaking, uh, on a piece of paper. 
what the fuck ever? What the hell? And it's like, all right, there's a pew humor, poo humor. It wouldn't be a kids movie if there wasn't poo humor. Uh, poo uh, poo uh, I can't say that. Poo humor. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, everybody's laughing about how I can't talk. Um, but yeah, there, I guess it wouldn't be a kids movie. There's also fart jokes, <laughs> particularly the one I remember off the top of my head is the. <laughs> it's the part he's like, I'm gonna cut the cheese. Like, there's cheese surrounding this building they need to get into. He's like, <laughs> and he's like, I'm gonna cut the cheese. He cuts it in half, and he, he pfft, you know, like, it makes a fart noise. And you're like, oh, Jesus, God. And it's like, all right, that's stupid, but it's funny. I, I mean, I chuckled. What the hell? Um, yeah, I was disappointed. Everybody returns in this movie. Like I said, the Flint Lockwood was good. The Steve, the Sam Sparks, everybody. One one particularly disappointing thing was Mr. T's not in this. If you don't know that, he, for some reason, did not come back for this one. It was, I haven't heard exactly why. Maybe he was doing something else. I don't know what the hell else, because he hasn't been doing that much lately. Um... But he didn't do it. So they got Terry Crews. And I, I like Terry Crews a lot. But it, it, he has some funny moments in this movie. He does have funny moments in this movie. He tries his hardest to replace Mr. T. But it still doesn't have the same effect that Mr. T did. I will admit. Um, but I still... I thought he, he had some funny lines in this movie. Um, I liked also the, the new characters. I think the new character that I liked the most was Barry. That little strawberry that had eyes and a mouth and uh he barely says a, a word of, of english whatsoever but he's pretty funny in this movie he's cute and adorable i like i, I like the, it was it was not an annoying character that you see in a kid's movie i thought he was really i thought he's cute um yeah i do what uh this movie when i say this when i said in the trailers, if you thought the trailers were pun heavy, good lord, is this movie pun, uh, really pun heavy, heavy, um, d definitely, from what you see in the trailers, it's definitely pun heavy, uh, like the trailers are, um, good god, and that's one of, one of the faults with this movie, some of the puns, a lot of the, there are puns in there that, in this movie, that do really work and are kind of cute and witty and funny. Um, but there are puns in there that they don't even seem like they're trying. Like, the puns that work, a good example, are like, water, water melephants. They're half water melons and half water elephants. Uh, shrimp pansies, or <laughs> sushi, su sushi. I love that one. Sushi. I like that one. That was pretty funny. Or, um, <laughs> or, uh, uh, Mesquite Toast. <laughs> Stupid names like that, you know? And then, at the same time, they would show ones that you're like, they're not even trying with these, some of these. Like, they just kind of, it seemed like they gave up. Like, Cheeseburger Spider. Okay. And, like, the whole point of puns is that you mix the words in together that's, so they sound like, you know, like a particular word. And, and it, it doesn't particularly work, you know. Some of the puns just don't work. And then, you know, in the trailer they show, like, nonstop, like, a montage of, like, all these puns. Food puns. Or foodimals, or what the hell you want to call them. They're called foodimals. Which is another pun that really doesn't work either, if you think about it. But, <laughs> but, anyways, they, these, they they show a montage throughout the trailer, and that's shown throughout the whole movie. But it goes a little too long. I mean, after the fifth, sixth, tenth one, you're like, okay, this is getting old. Come on. Um, there are, I mean, I'm not saying there are some puns that also work later in the movie. I like. There's a couple puns that happened later in the movie that made me laugh like uh <laughs> like the part where he's like you need us you need to let us help you and and they pan over and there's a piece of lettuce goes yeah all right <laughs> and in particular you, see, you maybe see this one in a trailer where they're going you're like there's something about this will be a piece of cake right and they pan over and there's a piece of cake go i don't know <laughs> 
I was like, okay, what the hell? I mean, it's just stupid. I mean, it's so random out of the blue. It's, it, it made me laugh, all right? It made me, it really made me laugh. Uh, what a, um, but yeah, like I said, some of the puns just didn't work. And like I said, it's, for a movie that's pun heavy, that kind of hurts it. Um, and there, like I said, there are parts where it's just very slow and not very funny, and that, you know, there, there are, like, long stretches of period, I felt, that were not funny, but it does pick up every so often, and then it drops off every so often, and then it picks up every so often, and then it drops off, it's like a roller coaster, um, uh, of, uh, like, what is funny and what isn't, what is, what isn't, what is, what isn't, um, but, you know, like I said, it, it works, it, it, the movie is funny, it, the movie is just alright, I will say this. I don't know what's about what it is about these kids' movies lately, and some really dark, uh, inappropriate adult humor that you might miss. Particularly one that I almost missed because I was kind of bored out of my mind. But then after I saw it, I went, "What? <laughs> there's a part where <laughs> there's a part where the." Uh, Flint Lockwood takes a strainer, like a noodle strainer, and he creates like a laser, like GPS thing, that this laser shows him where he, his machine is, and that, you know, he has to follow this line that this laser is making in order to get to his machine on this island, if that makes sense, alright? So, but he points out that he originally, you know, he wanted to uh, wear these as pants, basically, and he, but he could, forgot to cut out the leg holes. And he shows, like, a graphic of what this thing was supposed to look like, alright? And just imagine this for a second. I'm not standing up and trying to reenact this. He puts them on his pants, alright? And the laser pointer's pointing out from his crotch. You get it, right? Alright? And it's, so it's supposed to be like a phallic symbol. Like, it's coming right out of his crotch. And... And they kind of like, like, yeah, that's maybe not a good idea. They put it on his head. Like, <laughs> it's like, whoa, what the hell? It's like, I, I, I can't describe it, but literally, it, like, there's laser pointer coming out of his penis. I'm not joking. And they're like, the hell? It's like, I kind of like, whoa, movie. It's like, and then there's like the way that the villain dies at the end. There, some like the villain's diabolical scheme is kind of sick and twisted. Honestly, if you think about it, like he, one point wants to try to turn like the characters, like the human characters, like like kill them, like mash them up and make them the candy bars. It kind of seems like this is his plan. Um, that's a little weird and cannibalistic. What the hell does this movie get really dark? If you really think about some of this plan, it's like kind of really sick and weird and twisted. Uh, and the way the villain dies, or I think dies, I'm pretty sure he dies, but it's kind of sick and twisted. It's like, ugh, man, that's really fucked up for a kid's movie. Uh, yeah. What the hell? I mean, what's up with these kids' movies nowadays? I like when you have, like, tints of dark humor. Like, hell, Turbo had that scene with the crew, that running joke of the crow taking the snail, snatching the snails. I thought that was hysterical. That was the best part of that whole freaking movie. And, uh, what was the, oh, the Croods and, uh, Nick Cage wanting his mother-in-law to die. Like, trying to find ways to, for, to kill his mother-in-law was pretty fucking funny. Um, um, I don't know what else. I guess there's not much else to talk about. Um, Trailers-wise, this is the first kids movie I got in a while. And I haven't seen many kids trailers in a while. As I've gotten a lot of more mature kids movie Or mature trailers. Speaking of, like, trailers for... Um, uh, what the hell was it? Don John. I got mostly the same ones I've already gotten. Uh, there, was a, there was a couple I've maybe gotten uh, that were different. But, like, the kids' movies I got nowadays, it makes me really worried. <laughs> I was like, God, they looked like, almost every one of them looked like shit. The only one that actually looked kind of good was that Walking with the Dinosaurs. Um, I, the only thing that really stood out was the 3D in that movie. Yeah, yeah that was my, that was another thing. Probably if a chance to meet balls was great in 3D. Yeah, really good in 3D. I, I, 
3 d is just made for uh, animated movies, and that's it. That's what it should be from this point forward. Just for animated movies, that's it. It was made for that, um, and that, I don't know why they continue. Although, now, they, I got next week is Gravity, and I hear the 3D, and that movie's great, so uh, maybe I'll be, every so often, there'll be a one live-action movie that changes my mind. But, after Life of Pi, I don't know if there'll ever be anything better than the uh, live action wise um, in 3D but sorry man I got sniffles all of a sudden um, but yeah the, the walking with the dinosaurs looks really good uh, that looks really really it, it, like 3D wise I don't know whether story wise it will be good because it's like it was kind of ruined that trailer was ruined for me like when once the dinosaurs started talking like it was like really I don't know if that's... I got, like, Lego movie trailer. I've said I don't really think that looks any good at all. I must be the only one, because I keep hearing people tell me all the time that that looks really good. I don't think... I don't see it. I'm sorry. I like Legos and stuff, but I don't see it. Um, Freebirds. They have to do a trailer for Freebirds, which looks really unique. But they have a reference where they said, Those are really angry birds. Like, ugh. <laughs> Like, the line like that, you're like, you're just doing that on purpose. God damn it. Uh, Rio 2, which I thought Rio 1 was just okay. I, this one just doesn't look that good. I, I just, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, the Rio 1 was okay. I just, this one doesn't look that great as it is. The Rio 1 was just an okay movie in the first place. So I don't think, I'm, I probably will skip Rio 2 if I have the chance. Um... Frozen, which, that was the first full-length trailer I got, and, and, you know what, that looks bad, that fucking snowman, I actually said, I think about a couple months back, I got the trailer of the snowman and the reindeer, and I said, oh, that looked cute, like I'm wrong about the snowman, is like, the freaking snowman is like comedic relief that is really annoying, from the trailers, he's really, really annoying, um, and making stupid snowman puns. And, oh, it looked bad. I had a, that that looked bad. Uh, what other one did I get? That annoyed me? Oh, the nut job. What the hell was that? The nut, what, the, what the hell was that? It was the, the the nut job was like the squirrels that try to rob a nut store. It looked stupid. It just, just, just know it looks stupid. I know I'm not the target audience. By the way, funny part about this movie I didn't mention about Clive of a Chance of Meatballs. I saw it in an empty theater. I was the only one there. No joke. I saw somebody come in, you know, like one of the theater employees come in. I can't imagine. They're probably laughing their ass off at me. I'm the only one in that movie theater. It was at the bigger movie, the bigger, it was in the bigger theater. And I was the only one in there. It was like million seats. I just, I'm the only one in there. And I'm like, that is, that, yeah, I, I, that's not the only that time that's happened to me. Like, I've been in a movie where it's, I'm the only one in there. Um, I, it's been a while since that's happened, but I uh, gotta remember, kids are in school right when I saw it. It was like 2.50 when I saw it, so kids were still in school, so. Um, but yeah, I was the only one in the Cloudy for Chance of Meatballs, too. I I would assume this movie's gonna do better as the day progresses, so. But anyways, I'm gonna get off here. Uh, Cloudy for Chance of Meatballs, it's okay. It's the harmless. If you want to take your kids, it's going to see it. Why not? It's not? I don't know what the hell else would you go take your kids right now. I don't think there's many up, much out there. So I guess it's it's harmless. It's an hour and a half that went by really quickly. So did Don John. Both movies were didn't feel long. They were only an hour and a half, and they went by very quickly. Um, anyways, I'll get off here. Uh, be back next week with Gravity and Runner Runner. Both I'm looking forward to, especially Gravity, I'm really looking forward to Gravity. Trailers look freaking fantastic. It looks really intense. Runner Runner isn't getting very good reviews, so maybe, it, maybe, hopefully, maybe it'll be better than what the critics are saying, but we'll see. 
But um, I'll be back next week with those two movies, and I'll see you guys later.